It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Shepardine, and this is a bottle of their Spitfire Lager. 4% ABV with substance and character. The Lager of Britain it's been described as unbelievably for a 330 milli milliliter bottle. This was 69 pence. 69 pence in 2022. Can you believe that? Picked it up in home bargains. You can still pick up a relative bargain in home bargains. Can you imagine going to the pub in this day and age and, you know, you always see these little 330 milliliter bottles of lager. Can you imagine kind of, oh, I'll have a, I'll have a bottle of that and the, and the barman going, oh yeah, yeah. Um, 69 pence for that. Can you imagine? You'd be thinking it was 1955 or something, wouldn't you? So you got that Spitfire logo on the bottle cap uh, on the aeroplane there, the Spitfire kind of, yeah, target. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I don't know what's gone wrong here for, nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, by the way, for Shepherd Neem to... I mean, that was on the shelf plot price. Shepherd Neem must have sold this per bottle for about 30p. Home bargains then double their kind of... they got to make a bit of money out of it as well, haven't they? So, so they sell it for 69p. But to sell beer at, at this price is... I'm just wondering what's, um, what's happened along the way. I mean, look at it. It's looking okay isn't it i picked it up at the same time as i picked up another shepherd named beer it was the whitstable bay black stout which that was kind of no more than a pound one pound twenty and that was nice that was really nice perhaps it was a launch perhaps it was a a, a shepherd named launch to, to branch out with their Spitfire name. They've made a Spitfire Golden Ale, they've made it now a Spitfire Lager, of course you've got the, the, the regular Spitfire beer, ale that's sold all over Kent. And maybe it's just not worked out. Maybe maybe it's an about turn by Shepard Neiman and, and it, this just have not worked out. But I mean, look at it. Look at it, nice levels of carbonation, light straw coloured lager, one finger white head, there's, there's nothing, there's not much wrong with it so far, is it? Aroma, oh, it's quite clear as well, there's no real haze going on, let's get the aroma. It smells really good, it smells like a Heller's lager. A little bit of that kind of grainy light malt aroma coming through, like a wafer malt. Then you have a nice hoppy, bitter, slightly lemony finish, peppery, spicy. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Delicious. Delicious lager. Can't work this one out. Can't work it out. But let's get some flavours first. It's nicely carbonated on the on the tongue. Beer gets pushed around the inside of the mouth. There's a little bit of that light malt, as I was talking about earlier, a little bit of sweetness coming through. Then it goes over to being bitter on the back end. Bitter, spicy, peppery with the hops coming through. Lemony, it's like lemon flavour coming through. It's very pleasant. It's a lovely, delicious lager. So, why 69 pence? If you know the reason for the 69 pence, why this is in home bargains for that price, please let me know in the comments box. Um... 
Is it short dated? There must be something like the reason why Shepherd Neem couldn't sell it on their website or on their stores or I can't see a date anywhere on this. Um, I'll have a look on the bottom of the bottle cap now. I don't see, I don't see any date whatsoever on this beer. Um, so we're gonna move on because I don't wanna waste all of your time, me trying to find a date. So, um, Maybe the fact that there's no date on it. I don't know. There's, there's something odd about this because the beer is tasty. There's nothing wrong with this beer whatsoever. Which leads me into my next. And I've not really wanted to talk about it up until now because um, I, I would rather let you guys kind of forget about what's going on in, in, in our in the world today and then and, and just come here for a bit of light-hearted kind of drinking and entertainment. Um, but I am going to touch on this subject today and it's the, t it's the subject of inflation. Um, the point is, if you are very, very crafty, if you want to use that word, or, or sensible with your money, you can pop in places like B&M, Home Bargains, those kind of discount shops, Aldi, Lidl, you can still find a bargain. I mean, look at this. This was purchased only only a couple of months ago, this Spitfire Lager for 69 pence. And then the next thing you know, you're looking at the news and they're banging on about inflation at 9%, um, which is definitely true. Everything has gone up. Um, but, but yeah, it just proves, doesn't it? Even with all of that inflation, um, if you if you shop really really smart, if you have a good look around with the few quid you've got in your hand, there's still a bargain to be had. Uh, it would be a great story, wouldn't it? If I, I mean, people who are struggling, it would be a great story if you know somebody with the last few pounds in their but disposable income the last few quid in their pocket they want to have you know they want to have a bit of a they've had a tough week in work they want to relax unwind a little bit if they went to home bargains and picked up six bottles of this if you're drinking with your wife or partner eight bottles of this four each you're laughing in you you're laughing, you're having a good drink on a friday night i'd like to hear any of these kind of stories in the comments box if if indeed um this this type of cheap beer has helped you out along the way. Um, by the way, this shouldn't be 69 pence. This should be an awful lot. I'd be I'd be thinking, lemon neck. At least if you bought that in a pub, you'd be paying two pound fifty easy for that 330 milliliter bottle. If you bought it in a shop in a supermarket, you might be paying about one pound forty, I reckon, for the bottle. But again, 69 pence, unheard of. I don't think I've bought a beer for 69 pence in my whole life. And I'm 43. It's tasty. It's a really, really tasty, delicious drinking lager. I wish I had more. I'd like to drink some of this at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, you know. I could drink, I could drink a fair few bottles of this. Spitfire Lager was first brewed to commemorate the 80th anniversary of the first fleet of the submarine Spitfire and represents the best of British lager. Cool, refreshing and thirst quenching, Spitfire Lager combines the spirit of innovation with tradition and expertise to produce a modern classic. It is, I mean, that's tasty. The find of 2022 so far because of the price. I like it. It looks good, smells good, tastes really clean and lovely and delicious for a lager. For the price and everything else involved in this beer, I mean, 69 pence, how can I not give it a 9 out of 10? It's a 9 out of 10 just on price alone. 
just on value for money it's a nine out of ten for what you're getting for your hard-earned money a nine out of ten is fair now i know some of you i'm going to go now in a minute but i know some of you are like ah you shouldn't be rating your beer on on price but for what you're getting for your money i cannot ignore that i cannot ignore the fact that i paid 69 pence for this beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers